think about it, 30 years ago, 10% of the general fund went to higher education and only 3% went to prisons. We've seen students um, holding down multiple jobs while they're trying to get through to get through school. It's something even more devastating than this. I'm at a four-year institution and this is my fifth. I mean, woo! a generation that is facing great frustration that um, may graduate from college with a crushing burden of debt and um, that faces a, a general condition of hopelessness. The next generation needs the same kind of shot that we got when we were kids. Some students lay in hopelessness convinced there is nothing they can do about their deteriorating education. Naturally, the first to get the hits are art and music. But these students, they celebrate their talents in painting, sculpting, acting, and music with the help of professional artist Colette Crutcher. Colette took the initiative and made time to help and guide these students to create paper mache sculptures and colorful picket boards, especially for March 4th. The puppets were constructed in only three weeks. Not only do they plan to perform a peaceful protest come March 4th, but their actions are creative and display the significant talents that the school budget cuts are especially hurting. Many sculpture model ideas were created, but ultimately, four were chosen to be used for the protest. These included a skeletal student, La Llorona, or the crying woman, the draculator, and dinosaur bones made in the style of a parade-like Chinese dragon, all which contain much symbolism within their meaning. Yeah, we, we made the vampire um, to symbolize the uh, money being sucked out of things that we think are important and sucked into things that we think are less important and potentially destructive. Um, for instance, the inequity in funding for education versus funding for the prison system. Um, we also chose it because it's a fun figure that uh, is, is popular in the culture right now, and um, we wanted to have our own unique take on it, uh, sort of a parody on our governor, um, but also just a, a symbol of the forces that are, are diverting money that should go towards education into other things. Uh, La Llorona is a Mexican folk figure that has various different aspects. She can be seen as sort of a, a frightening bogeyman type of figure, um, but she's also um, the weeping woman who um, is looking for her children and crying over their, their fate. And so that was why she was chosen as, as a symbol for what's going on right now. I made the skeleton student um, to uh, represent the debt slavery that unfortunately today's students are going to be faced with and are being faced with. Um, the price of a college education has gone up so much and uh, the loans are so predatory that students are being offered. They often make these decisions when they're too young to really understand what is going to happen to them and they are really enslaved for the rest of their lives to this debt. I know lots of young people in their 20s who are not able to take the kind of public spirited but low paying jobs they would actually like to have because they have this payment they have to make every month. It's horrifying. The vampire figure um, we're calling uh, the Draculator uh, so he's, he's doubling as uh, the Terminator, Arnold. Um, also, he could be seen as the Chancellor of the University, um, or various other powerful uh, figures in our society that are not supporting education and uh, the future of our kids. I think agitation theater is 
important, not because it's going to have a direct effect. Uh, I don't imagine that um, those who are making our budget decisions are going to come to our demonstration, see what we do, and change their policies tomorrow. Uh, but I think what this kind of thing does is twofold. Uh, for those who see it, it raises their awareness of the issue. Um, it gets them thinking in a different way about it. The budget is a pretty dry, boring issue, and um, to see it animated and activated by theater, music, dance, art is uh, just draws in a different part of someone's brain when they watch that. Um, and then for those who participate, for the students, I think it's really important to um, see that they can be involved in something that is empowering and that over time can change people's consciousness, even though it's, it's like raindrops on a stone. It's not going to do it tomorrow. These puppets are going to be used for the March 4th uh, protest that's taking place in San Francisco. Um, there's a day of action planned on the uh, San Francisco State Campus and uh, then a march from the Mission District uh, into the Civic Center. Um, and they'll also be used on March 22nd for a protest in Sacramento for the same cause. My body of knowledge, my dreams, you... Um, the we use the Spanish name for La Llorona because um, she's a very popular figure in, uh, in Mexican folklore and um, this class was a, a multicultural um, theater class that, that was the spearhead for um, this activity. Uh, my name is Colette Crutcher. Um, I've been a working artist in San Francisco since 1979. Some students have reacted to the protest by occupying buildings, resulting in frustrated cops and often violent outcomes. Some students do nothing and just try to get by. But these students have put their talents together and made a heck of an art show to let the public know that art, music, and education are extremely important and something society should fight to keep. Stand up for your education. Join us at democracynow.org.